Hi everyone, I wanted to go through a really short video on the workflow that Autodesk have introduced for Inventor Cam models into Fusion 360 Cam. So there's a preview inside Fusion 360 that you can turn on. I know at the moment it's still a preview, but I'm hoping in the future that Autodesk will recognise this as a common workflow and uh, fully implement it into the uh, Fusion application. So when you log into Fusion, up on the top right corner, you've got access to your preferences. And um, within those preferences, basically you would go in there and, and, and choose uh, what previews that you want to see. Uh, so down the left hand side, you can see at the very, very bottom of the list that you've got access to lots of different previews within uh, the Fusion application. So if you narrow that down to the manufacturer, for instance, and go down the list, and if you look for this tick box here, which is import Inventor CAM data on upload, and that will enable the import of your CAM um, files from Inventor into Fusion using the data panel, and that will then bring through your um, your toolpaths into uh, Fusion from Inventor CAM. So if you were looking at using uh, some of the features in the, the machine extensions, for instance, and you want to bring over your already created toolpaths from Inventor Cam, then this would be a fantastic solution for you. So if I just say OK to the dialog box, I've already got the preview on as suggested. I'm going to go back to Inventor just to show you how it works. So I've got a project set up for Inventor Cam just now. And if I go ahead, I've got some models that I already have toolpaths um, specified within them. So if we go ahead and pick one of those, uh, if we go for this one here and say open, give you an idea of what it looks like inside the um, Inventor Cam environment. So it's already got two setups, uh, sorry, for the top and one for the bottom. And it's already got specified toolpaths within. So if I want to take those toolpaths into Fusion 360, then how do I go about that? So if I go inside Fusion, I've already set up a project in my hub. Um, so once you've got your own team or your own hub set up, then you can create a project specifically around uh, maybe your CAM models coming in from Inventor to Fusion 360. And then once you've done that, you know, you've got a folder where you can click on the uh, upload button inside your data panel. So if we go ahead and click on upload, we can go and browse for those files. And if I go ahead and make sure that I select the correct one, which I think was the housing final, the housing top final file. And if I open that up, what it does is it goes through a process of uploading that into Fusion for me. And then once I've done that, it will open up or allow me to open it up from the data panel and give me access to all of my toolpaths already generated, uh, created within Inventor Cam. And like I say, then you can go ahead and possibly use those in conjunction with maybe the machining extensions for those extra uh, capabilities that, that you might not get inside of the Inventor application. So we just, I'm just going to close that just now and allow it to keep progressing forward and give you a look at one that I've brought through earlier on. So if I just double click on this collar final, I can see that all my toolpaths are there already and that, that file basically came originally from Inventor as well. So if I go ahead and open up the collar from here, this file was already generated specifically within Inventor and then I brought that one into um, into the Fusion application uh, and it's going ahead and it's uh, verifying and uh, generating the file just now. So if I, um, I just give you an idea obviously that the, the workflow is really well done I think, as I said, as I mentioned before, I think this process is going to be really good for folk who want to bring in and use that extra capability with the machine extensions as well as maybe some of the other simulation uh, aspects that Fusion 360 has to offer. Alright, so you can see the process on the left hand side is complete and now you've got access to open up the file, which I have done. So I've got the housing top final open and you can see that it's sprung through the two setups, the top and the bottom setup as well. So if we activate the top setup and change it to the isometric view, we can then take a look at the toolpaths that um, have came through from Inventor. So we can see the face, the adaptive pocket and the contours as well that have been brought through. 
So I'm just going to do a quick simulation on that, just so that you've got an idea um, of how how it's brought them through, guys. And it's a, it's following the toolpaths and it's doing everything as expected. So this is kind of a, the same similar process that you would take inside of uh, inside of um, Ev Inventor. Um, and then if we go ahead and do the same on the bottom, just to give you uh, an idea of how the bottom looks as well, and then we can simulate that up just to show you that it does actually bring them through and it's working through them well. Alright, so we can just close that off as well. So I just really wanted to go through the workflow guys, I wanted to show you how Autodesk are trying to improve these types of step-by-step -step workflows through the Inventor application and Fusion application to give you the benefit of both really. Having the product design and manufacturing collection is um, obviously giving you Inventor Cam and Fusion 360 Cam so why not use as much as you can um, you know, to your benefit. So thanks very much guys for taking the time to just tune into this really short video. Uh, feel free to contact me at any point if you've got any questions and thanks again for tuning in.